Sisters, brothers, siblings in the Episcopal Church in Northern Indiana, grace and peace be with you in Jesus, the risen Christ. Greetings from, we're here at uh, Lambeth Palace on our London day, it's Wednesday, and our focus for the day is on environmental sustainability and the other issues that we're facing as a result of climate change and the climate crisis. And I'm so grateful to be able to share with you uh, my sister and brother Bishop, uh, uh, they'll introduce themselves and then we'll engage in a bit about their reflections on the issues of climate change. Hello, I'm Lucinda Ashby. I'm the Bishop of the Diocese of El Camino Real, which is the central coast of California. Hello, this is Bishop Michael Herridge. I am the Bishop of the Diocese of Northeast India, Church of North India. And my friends, we're here at Lambeth Palace. What a wonderful day. We've had some wonderful presentations. Uh, the young woman who spoke to us from Kenya was quite quite compelling, wasn't she? Yes. What particular concerns uh, do you bring to this conversation with respect to environment and climate change and sustainability? Well, it's such a, it's such a huge topic. Um, and I think what I bring is a deep concern for the way in which the climate change climate change issues are really causing, uh, creating an incredible crisis when it comes to issues of migration and immigration. We're seeing populations having to leave places, um, uh, areas where people have lived are shrinking, uh, and some because of, of flooding or the uh, oceans rising, some because of wildfires or where livelihood can no longer be sustained. So there's a lot of movement on, of people on the planet and how we work with those particular issues are of great concern to me where I live. Thank you, we should say. Yeah, actually, this environment issue is for us is the matter of life and death. Because uh, the reason where I come from, it's uh, basically the tea grown state, where the tea is grown. And because of the changing in the climate and the changing of the environment, that our tea is not getting the perfect yield which it's supposed to get. Mm. The consequence is that we have four time floods. And then the agriculture has been affected very badly. Now the poor people, particularly those who are working in the tea gardens, are affected very much. They have to survive so they go out so there is a migration taking place and to survive and once they have to compromise with their privacy they have to compromise with their health they have to compromise with all sorts of things and when they come back home so they come sick people so i think this uh, the archbishop has called for this to reflect on this environment issue i think for me it is a very great opportunity to learn and also to sensitize myself and also to other to the church to take this call and take it very seriously otherwise for us it is a matter of death and life absolutely i think it's it's one of the few calls that regardless of where we're called to serve we're affected by the reality of climate change the environmental crisis and really challenged by whether whether the communities we live in can be sustainable over a period of time right. and it affects it affects all kinds of people uh, from violence to to uh, migration e everything is affected by the issues of change in the climate isn't it if, if you go uh, in particularly in our villages there yeah. used to be a life now the people are not there they have gone somewhere to search for food they have gone somewhere to search for the job and particularly that uh, I feel very sorry for the girl children. Once they go out, they step out, means they have gone completely out of home, hardly to come back. And that is affecting us very badly. I think so we have to seriously think and we have to enable them also to sustain, to have a dignified life and at the same time uh, to work for the other people. And so the, what's, what's the biggest crisis that you all face you're in the sort of growth area of California, yes. right? So what, for us, the biggest crisis, I, be, I believe, is drought. Um, we just, our water is diminishing, and yet our population is so huge. And many people come in as migrant workers from the south, from Mexico, um, who come in to work our lettuce fields because we produce a vast amount of lettuce that is eaten in this world. And to watch, uh, among other things, really, 
And to watch as the, the, the drought takes place, the wildfires are happening, and people who come in then do not have a livelihood if they cannot produce the lettuce, not to mention the fact that we don't get to eat the lettuce. But it's a huge issue for us. I think one of the things that we really face is the importance of educating our people, especially in the church, about what they, what can be done about this so that we are not operating with a sense of denial of, oh, it doesn't affect us, or thinking, well, it's so overwhelming that I can't do anything about it. Whereas if you look at the literature around, the literature points clearly to the fact that every single person has the ability to change their lifestyle in ways that actually can cope with the entire situation around climate change. So there's a, a, a lot of tasks in front of us. It's up to us to engage. Well, Bishop Lucinda, Bishop Michael, let's, let's make a, a, a commitment to pray that we can uh, in the particular context we find ourselves in, uh, encourage all of our uh, our brothers and sisters and siblings to be faithful and good stewards of the creation entrusted to us by God. Thank you for this time and conversation. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. You're most welcome. Blessings to you, friends. Grace and peace.